Off season prep has been really good, actually. I think we've, uh, as a team, you know, we kind of got a little bit of a late start in getting the staff together that we needed to for going from two to three cars. But, you know, I think our guys did a tremendous job. We've been very fortunate to not only hire good people, but people that fit in really well in our system, people that fit in really well with um, all the other engineers and the mechanics. And, uh, you know, I think one of the things we're fortunate about at RLL right now is that, you know, the, the team itself has a great reputation and, and is attracting a lot of young, good um, talent. And so uh, we've been able to add that this winter. We're excited to go racing. St. Pete has been really kind to me, honestly, uh, even from my Indy Lights days, you know, I've never not finished on the podium there. Uh, it's probably been one of my better tracks in a, an Indy car. I've always just kind of flowed well with the track. I love it, it's great. It's, uh, it's a very fast street circuit, actually. Last year, I think we were super close on pole. Uh, it's, a, it's a super tight track. I mean, lap times are always within hundreds of a second, so it's no different than a lot of other tracks, really. To, to go and win in St. Pete is gonna be nearly a perfect weekend. You know, We're gonna have to find a good balance for red tires, good balance for black tires, and I'm gonna have to drive really, really well. Obviously, street circuits, a bit more high risk, high reward. You know, we just need to find that balance of being able to push the car to the limit, obviously, whilst not putting it in the wall. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like there's there's so many small bits at St. Pete that really can accumulate. So that's why in our preparation, we've been very detail orientated. But also the thing that's tough about the you know IndyCar testing right now is it's still, it's still learning and still learning engineers and things like that. So I would say our, our mindset heading into St. Pete is one of you know total confidence and belief that we can go and achieve something great, but also open-mindedness that the track is going to evolve, we're going to evolve, and we just want to keep rolling with, um, with the flow of the weekend. But I don't see any reason why we can't go to St. Pete and shoot to win. My experience of street courses in general has been quite easy. Um, I've been in Europe, smooth street circuits, they resurface the track uh, pretty much every year. Um, some of them I've been good on, some of them I've been less good, um, even in different years. But it's, I think it's good to have done Sebring, you know, to prepare for bumpy tracks. I know they've been, they are very bumpy over here, but I've been, been trying and working with engineers, look at all data, on boards and so on, to prepare my, myself as, as best as possible. I think my expectations for the first weekend of the season is obviously to get started. Uh, I think everyone is, is hungry now. Uh, it's been an uh, off-season, everyone's been working hard, preparing, uh, working on their weaknesses from the previous years. And obviously I'm a rookie at the track, I've never been there, so you know, it's, it's going to be difficult for me. That's why it's good I can lean on Jack and Graham, who's been there before. Jack has done very well. Uh, I know Graham won his rookie year, um, so I've, I've got some good teammates that can help me in the right direction. Expectations itself, you know, I want to go in there and learn, but at the same time prove what I'm worth. My mindset, I think, as I've gotten older, is just shifting to, um, you know, every year is, is highly important to me. Um, every year, it's really uh, critical that we go out and we make the most of it. Uh, we try to take advantage of every opportunity that comes our way, try to perform well, uh, whether it be on a test day or whether it be in, on race day. Um, you know, we want to be up front and we want to be competitive. And, and I thought last year we ended our season really, really well. Um, and I think it sets us up nicely uh, as we go into this season, try to carry on that momentum. The guys are doing an amazing job in the pits. You know, we are racing extremely well. Um, and so we just want to keep that going, you know, forward into St. Pete here, but uh, we're excited. Um, we feel that, uh, you know, that we're one of the cars to, to beat. We feel like we're going to be up front consistently and hopefully get some wins here early in the season and uh, carry that momentum throughout the whole year. My mindset for the season overall is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, I know that I'm new here, but at the same time, I want to lay my mark down. Um, I'm here to stay. I'm here to win. Um, so that's that's definitely the mindset I'm, I'm coming in with. My biggest motivator, well, motivation in, in the end is is waking up in the morning and being five percent better than I was the day before. Biggest motivator. Ah. I mean, honestly, just the things that I want to achieve for myself, you know, so that in a few years I can look back and be really proud of, of myself on what we've achieved. Uh, you know, biggest motivator right now is trying to repay the faith and belief that Bobby and Mike have put in me, you know, to bring, uh, bring me into this team and 
go out and get results. As you know, like I've already mentioned, Hy-Vee have been an incredible supporter of the team and they have really expanded and grown, you know, not just with RLL, but also the IndyCar series. I want to repay that faith and belief that they've also, uh, you know, shown towards me. And I remember I was watching Matthew McConaughey from the Oscars one year and, you know, he said the thing that he loved or what really motivated him was, you know, how do I want to be or how do I want to look at myself in five years time, in 10 years time, and in 10 years, I want to look back and be proud of what I've achieved, the person that I am. And I would say right now, the biggest motivator is trying to do all them things. I think that the optimal season for me will probably be to win. Uh, but other than that, you know, to beat my own expectations and then the question will probably be, what is your expectations? Um, and again, that is to lay down my mark, to be recognized as a quick driver, a, a guy that can get it done and be there consistently. My biggest motivator really is, I think, my family at this stage. Um, I think when you're younger, you know, you're trying to prove yourself to everybody. Uh, as I've gotten older, I don't, I don't really care what anybody thinks about me. I, I know the way that I feel in the car. I know um, that I'm competitive and I, I know that we can win. You know, for me, my biggest motivator is to try to make my family proud, um, try to win races for them and for the team. Uh, we've got a lot of men, men and women that put a lot of effort in behind the scenes. Let's try to go out there and win for them. My expectations and my goals are the same as every year, just with a little more intensity. So uh, we want to win. Um, we want to win. We want to win right away. So St. Pete, here we come.